Hey guys, my name is Jason with S&J Forest Products. And on today's video, I'm gonna start a black walnut forest. First thing we gotta do is plant cedar trees. What? I'll explain here in a minute. Well, it's early March here in the Pacific Northwest and I've got my orange line strung right down the field there. And my plan is, is I'm gonna plant Western red cedars every eight feet right down this line. Boom, 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 all the way down. And I'm gonna do lines eight feet apart. So I'm just gonna plant rows of trees down here just like you would Christmas trees. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let those cedar trees get about six, eight, 10 feet tall. And I'm gonna cut every other cedar. So the eight foot one I'm gonna cut, 16 foot I'm gonna leave, and then the 24 foot one I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna plant black walnuts around that stump. And what's gonna happen is those cedar trees that I leave on all four corners are gonna act as the training trees and it's gonna shade out the black walnuts and it's gonna force the black walnuts to grow up straight and clear with no branches. And so you'll have these nice veneer quality black walnuts. But I gotta start about six or eight years before I plant any black walnuts with cedar trees. I've done this in the past. I actually did this last spring and I didn't protect my trees at all. I just planted them in the field and came back in the fall and the field mice had eaten every single cedar all the way down to a little stub. So this year, I'm gonna, again, we're kind of doing this step by step. I got another 250 cedar trees. I'm gonna put them in the ground, and then I'm gonna use, let's see if I can find one here. Yeah, one of these. I'm gonna, I got these cones, these protective cones, that I'm gonna slip right down, right to the ground. And so hopefully I can protect those cedar trees from the mice and the voles or whatever's getting them, and get those cedar trees grown up so they're not getting eaten down out of nothing but I don't want to plant 8,000 trees in this field and have them all get eaten up. So I got to figure out exactly how to grow these cedar trees up to six or eight feet without having them go all the mouse food. So we're going to start with 250, see how it goes this summer. And if it works, then I'll come in and plant another couple thousand next year and continue the process. Well, here's this planting bag I'm going to use. This is brand new, my first day planting. But yesterday I was out and uh, we planted 8,000 trees yesterday. Well, I didn't, I watched. But had a crew come out to my other property, we planted 8,000 trees. So I got myself a planting bag and a shovel and I'm gonna go tree planting today. But I should have another video coming up of those 8,000 trees going in the ground. So you can check that out on my channel. But let me get all suited up here. Come on over, we'll take a look at these cedar trees. So these are plug ones here. They're nice trees. And they're in bundles of 25. So they were growing one year as a plug, and then they took the plug and they planted it out in a seed bed. We're in a, in a bed there. And so these are two year old trees, but they're, you know, 18 inches tall, really nice looking trees, good root system on them. So I'm gonna go punch a hole in the ground and plant these things every eight inches. All right, I got, I got a couple different shovels here. I got a shorty and I've got a longer one. So I'm gonna have to try them both out and see which one I like better. Well, let's go put some trees in the ground. Well, I've improved my system here a little bit. I'm about, I don't know, 100, 125 trees in. We got stakes on most of them, but I gotta get the rest of these in the ground. So I'll show you kind of my new improved system here for getting these trees in the ground. Take three steps, one, two, three. Take my little shovel. One, two, and then split the difference. And I just peel it back. And I give myself a little hole. And then I can grab a tree, make sure the roots are, and get the grass so you can see what's going on. Get the roots going down with my fingers. I'm not, I'm not leaning over. I mean, I'm not kneeling on the ground and do anything like that. And, there you go, it's pretty quick. And then another one, two, 
tree. Get you a spot you can see here. One, two, and then if you can get this kind of wad out of the way there, grab a tree, roots down in the hole, flip the wad back, stomp on it. A couple different ways there, and there you go, you plant a tree. Now, when we put the stake in the ground, and we put the cone around it, that'll hold it straight up and down. And it can start growing straight up and down. So I'm not too concerned with a little bit of lean one way or the other. One, two, three. And there you go, split the difference. Peel back a nice spot there. Grab one out of the bag. Put it in there, flop it down. You want to make sure there's no air pockets. And you just put her to bed. There you go. All right, well, we got everything planted. I've got mostly cedar. And there's actually a few black walnuts back over here that I had some extra that I planted. And I'll show you all those. But today what I wanted to do is now that we've got them all planted, I got a few more stakes to put in and then we got to cone them all. So here's what we're working with for our black walnuts. I had about 35 little starts I'd started last year. So I've got those and then every other tree now is a cedar. So here's our cedar. Again, I got to stake them. And then opposite the cedar right over here is a little black walnut. And so we're trying to offset them so they're on all four corners. They've got a cedar. There's a cedar. There's a cedar. And another cedar over here on this side. And that'll help shade them out as they grow up and force them to grow up straight and tall. But that is the plan. Now i got to wait 10 years to see if it works. All right, well, we're fighting the wind a little bit here. But I wanted to show you this whole coning process. So they come flat like this. There's three little tabs on them. And the easiest way I found to do it is you roll it over, you stick the middle tab through the middle, and then that holds it so you can do the upper and lower tab. Now you have your cone. Then I have one zip tie that I put through just on the top of the cone. And then, oh geez, I got a huge, I got a huge tree here, but you just kind of grab the branches and work the cone down over the tree. Geez, most of them aren't this big, but I picked a, I picked a huge one for you. And what this cone does, hopefully, is it protects from the, the voles and the field mice because they will come in and you just zip tie it to the, to the post. I push it down so it's flush with ground level. Angle it down just a little bit so it pulls, pulls the, the cone down into the ground. And now that's super stable. The tree can grow up through and this will protect the bottom of the tree because what happens is I planted about 200 cedar in here last year and I didn't protect them and the grass grew up and then the mice got in them and they just ate every single branch down to the top. It was just these little tiny cedar sprigs about this tall that were left sticking up out of the ground. And so my hope is is that with these cones they'll, they'll be coming through the grass, they'll hit this cone and they'll just go around it and do whatever else they're going to do. Hopefully it'll protect the cedar. But I, I can't have those trees get girdled or eaten off all the branches because it'll just kill the tree. So that's my current plan. Last year's experiment totally failed. But hopefully we've got a, a, a new system here and hopefully it works. So I've got maybe 60 trees coned in about an hour. Uh, so about one a minute. And it's not hard, it's just time consuming. You gotta do and 
make your cone and push it down over the tree and zip tie it and go on to the next one. So um, I'll get going here and do a couple more rows and then we'll take a look at it when I'm all done. All right, well, I've got four rows done. I figure it's about 35 or 40 trees per row. So that's somewhere between about 125 to 140 trees or something. So I, uh, I gotta go pick up my kids now from school. So I gotta stop here, but I'll get the rest of this done in the next couple days. And uh, be sure to subscribe so you can check back in the fall or next spring when I do a follow-up video. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.